In the twilight's embrace, as the city of Kyoto slumbered, a solitary figure emerged from the shadows. His name was Kenshin, a master of the ancient art of Shikigami, spirit summons. Kenshin's eyes glowed with an ethereal light as he traced intricate symbols in the air. With each stroke, a faint shimmer filled the room, and the air crackled with anticipation. Suddenly, a gust of wind swept through the chamber, carrying with it the scent of cherry blossoms. As the wind subsided, a translucent figure materialized before Kenshin. It was a Shikigami, a spirit servant bound to his will. The Shikigami's form was that of a graceful fox, its fur shimmering like moonlight. Greetings, master, the Shikigami spoke in a voice as soft as a whisper. I am Kitsune, your humble servant. Kenshin nodded. Kitsune, I have a task for you. You must seek out a stolen artifact from the Imperial Palace. Kitsune's eyes gleamed with excitement. I shall not fail you, master. With a flick of his wrist, Kenshin released Kitsune into the night. The Shikigami vanished into the darkness, its presence only hinted at by the faint rustling of leaves. As the hours passed, Kenshin paced anxiously, his mind racing with thoughts of the stolen artifact. It was a priceless scroll, containing ancient secrets that could plunge the city into chaos. Suddenly, the door to the chamber creaked open, and Kitsune reappeared. In its mouth, it held the stolen scroll. Master, I have retrieved the artifact, Kitsune said, its voice filled with pride. Kenshin's heart soared with relief. Well done, Kitsune. You have served me well. With the scroll safely in his possession, Kenshin returned it to the Imperial Palace, where it was greeted with immense gratitude. The city was saved from the brink of disaster, and Kenshin's reputation as a master Shikigami grew. However, Kenshin's triumph was short-lived. Rumors spread that a powerful sorcerer, known as Kuro, was seeking to control the Shikigami for his own evil purposes. Determined to protect his bond with Kitsune, Kenshin confronted Kuro in a secluded temple. The air crackled with energy as the two masters unleashed their Shikigami. Kitsune fought valiantly, its claws flashing and its tail lashing. But Kuro's Shikigami, a monstrous serpent, proved too powerful. With a deafening roar, the serpent lunged at Kitsune, its fangs bared. In a desperate act, Kenshin summoned all his strength and unleashed a torrent of spiritual energy. The serpent was thrown back, its scales shattered. As the dust settled, Kitsune lay wounded, its life fading. Kenshin rushed to its side, his heart heavy with grief. Kitsune, my loyal friend, Kenshin whispered. Thank you for your service. With a final flicker of its eyes, Kitsune looked up at Kenshin. Master, I have no regrets. I have served you with honor. As Kitsune's spirit dissipated into the ether, Kenshin vowed to avenge its death. He would hunt down Kuro and destroy his evil plans, no matter the cost. And so, Kenshin, the master of Shikigami, embarked on a perilous journey, driven by both grief and a burning desire for justice. His path would be fraught with danger, but he would not rest until he had avenged his fallen companion and protected the city he loved.